Hi class, welcome to Math is Fundamental. Today we're going to be talking about surface area and volume of a sphere. So to start, we have surface area of a sphere. The formula is going to be pi, oh sorry, four times pi r squared. Kind of like pi r squared, area of a circle, but there's four of them, um, four times pi r squared. All right, and volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed. Now, one of the things I know students struggle with is remembering which one is r squared, which one is r cubed. The way I like to think about it is kind of like when you think about the units of your answer. When we do area, it's always inches squared or feet squared. When we do volume, it's always inches cubed or feet cubed. So when we take surface area versus volume, surface area, we're going to have radius squared. Volume, we're going to have radius cubed. That's how I like to remember it. All right, um, now just a quick little point. If a plane intersects a sphere, the intersection is either a circle or a point. So if you think about a sphere, if a plane, like a piece of paper, just barely touches the sphere, it's going to intersect with that sphere on just one single point. But if the paper cuts through the sphere, its intersection is going to be a circle. All right, now, if the plane passes through the center of the sphere, then it's called a great circle, that intersection piece or the cross section. All right, and the circumference of the sphere is what we consider the circumference of the great circle. All right, so let's look at a couple examples. The first one, we want to find volume and surface area of the sphere, practicing both. So again, surface area, we have four pi r squared. So my radius is 10. That's going to give me 4 pi times 10 squared, which is 400 pi and centimeters its surface area, so centimeters squared. And then for volume, we have uh, 4 thirds. Volume is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So that's 4 thirds pi times 10 cubed. And we want to leave answers. It says give exact answers, leave in terms of pi. So that's just going to be 400 over 3 pi and then centimeters cubed for volume. Now, when we have problems where we're solving for more than one piece, make sure you label which one is surface area and which one is volume. All right, number two says a sphere with a diameter of 14 meters. So with a diameter of 14, all we need to do is take that diameter and find the radius, which just means dividing by two. Then the rest of the problem is exactly the same. So surface area, we have four pi times seven squared, or 49 times four is 196 pi and we have meters squared. All right, and my volume is 4 thirds pi times 7 cubed, which is going to give me 1372 over 3 pi meters cubed. All right, so now we're going to try a couple more difficult examples. So this one asks us to find the volume and surface area of a sphere with a circumference of 12 pi. So circumference is 2 pi r, so we can use this to find r. So 12 pi equals 2 pi r, which means r has to equal 6. Now that I have the radius, I can plug that in and find the surface area, 4 pi r squared. So surface area, 4 pi times 6 squared is 144 pi. Uh, my units are feet squared. And my volume is 4 thirds pi times r cubed. So 4 thirds times 6 cubed is going to be 288 pi feet cubed. So just one little step at the beginning there that we had to do that was new on that one. Now this one asks us to find the volume if we know that the surface area is 36 pi. So I know surface area is 4 pi r squared, and they give us that surface area is 36 pi. 
If I set this equal to 4 pi r squared, I can solve for the radius. So if I divide by 4 pi, the pi's cancel out, and 9 is going to equal radius squared, which leaves me with the radius of 3. Now I can find the volume, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So 4 over 3 times 3 cubed times pi is going to be 36 pi, and my units are centimeters cubed. All right, and that concludes our lesson for today. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, math is fundamental.